what it is. Whoa, that's the grass! Whoa! No! <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today you join me where we're gonna be having a lot of fun, as you can see from those first few seconds of this video. Yes, we are tracking the all new 2022 Audi RS3. Lots of hype around it, and we put it to the true test in this one because, yeah, that's what we got to do. It's all for well and good doing drag racing and stuff, but we need to track it. Oh, it's nerve wracking stuff but we're gonna be fine. I've just arrived at a certain destination called Dream Car Giveaways. Got some amazing stock. So let's go inside and have a quick look. Then it's time to hit the track. Before we go onto the circuit, let's have a little look what we have in here. There's some very cool cars, including this Mercedes-Benz E63 S AMG. This has 750 brake horsepower and this is going up for raffle this saturday so what i'm going to do you guys will probably want to get involved in this because yes yeah, 750 brake horsepower it's got a wrench studios uh stage two i believe does not 60 in 3.2 seconds it's pretty incredible but it also has a satin ppf over the top of the paint as well and this car you can win for roughly a fiver. It has all the carbon as you can see on the front just there and it is lowered as well so you can see how low this car and it can, can actually from what I hear go even lower. We have a Ford Fiesta ST. All these cars you can win everybody uh, so like I say I will leave the link down below so how you can get involved to dream car giveaways. They're giving away thousands of cars and yeah there's lots here. Check this Tesla out as well. That Tesla is amazing. Look at the body kit on the front of there, the splitter. That is awesome. I'm a huge fan of that. That looks flipping insane as well. And then we have an older RS3 just there. So you have all sorts of different types of cars which are going up for, uh, going up for raffle. And then when you do win it, you will go drag racing or something like that in it and we'll have an amazing time. So like I say, description, pin comment, go and get involved in the E63S. Like I say, you can win it for a fiver. Now it's time to head to Silverstone. Okay, and I've just arrived at my destination and that is Silverstone Race Circuit. We all know how good the all new Audi RS3 is. It's fast, it's got drift mode, and it's just an all round great piece of kit. But what we don't know is how good is this car compared to supercars and also around the track? Well, today we're gonna find out because we are putting this up against the test of all tests of tracking it. And we're gonna track it, but we're here at a BRDC track day and there's supercars, there's everyday cars, there's pretty much everything. So this car today will be pretty much put to the test. I think it's gonna surprise us all. I know how quick they are obviously on the drag races and stuff, but it's one thing doing that and it's another thing how they perform on the track. Um, but what we're going to do is Johnny Cocker, who is a professional racing driver, he's much faster than I will ever be, he's going to drive it round and I'm going to be passenger because he's going to go 100%. I think that's what we need to do today is we need to push this car 100%. There's no point just going round, dawdling around on a, on a track day, cruising round and going, oh, this is all a bit of fun. Oh, he overtook me. We have to go flat out from the moment we leave the pit lane. That is what it's all about and that is what we want to do with the test because that's what we've done before and yeah, hopefully these tyres are going to hold up nicely. There's got lots of tread in them as well. We're going to really push it to the limit how will it compare to supercars and things like that? Well, to be honest with you, I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised um, in this video. Last time we tracked sort of one of my everyday cars, we did it with the Golf R. We could not work out where to turn the SC off and it was a nightmare. Came in, the brakes were on fire. That was not ideal. But with this, we know where all those buttons are. We know how to activate drift mode and you're probably going to see a lot of smoke coming out of the rear tyres and I'm probably going to have to change them tomorrow. Brilliant! But let's get cracking. And let's get going. You've got the AHR number plates on it. Oh yes, we are trackside and we're going on. How cool the AHR plates look on there. Love that, it actually makes the car look even cooler. Uh, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna turn traction control straight off and then drifting should be activated, everything, and then we'll be good to go. But traction off, everything. I'm going passenger side. There's my helmet. 
but I'm going passenger seat because I ain't driving. Right, so what we're doing is we're going out in the RS3 and Johnny's going to be pushing it. You're going to be pushing it to the limit? Max. To really? The max. No, I think we, um, I'm intrigued because I think, you know, this is, I used to have a TTRS back in the day. Yeah. Um, and then trying that Golf R recently, that was quite kind of reserved. Yeah, but we, we didn't know where the traction control button was. That is true. Do we know where this is now? Right there. Right, turn that off. So we want to go drive select and then we want to go to, want to go to dynamic. You can choose the, the buttons however you want to do it. If you want to do uh, manual mode or whatever, yeah, whatever you want manual. to do. Yeah, so you just that's just on the paddles, so then that'll be manual. Do you like that dash? It's a good one. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then yeah, and then we'll be good to go. I hope it's good. We'll turn traction off. I think we just just hold it down. Off. Off. Does that mean that drift mode's on? It must do. I don't know to be honest. Well, I guess we'll find we'll out. We'll find out. Just just give it a go. Let's have a go. Does it, do you reckon it likes curbs? He's no, don't mate. Not not like fully on the old not fully on the old curbs. But you can, you know, if you want to, not every curb. Right. <laughs> but like, it is my car also. So we'll just, just go nice and however you want to, however you want to do it. I'm slightly nervous. So am I. I are you? No. Uh, all, all I, all I want to know is how good it actually is on a track. I've seen so much of them on a, you know, on a drag race and stuff. I think it'll be interesting, won't it? Because the RS3 or all Audi products have been renowned for having loads of understeer. Yeah. And they have actually talked about this being a bit more rear bias. And oh, stuff I've got no. I, I can't deal with this. Right, that's good. Oh. It's, it's quick, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's quick. Right. No, oh. don't go too fast into here. Hold on. Oh no, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny! Oh my God! No! No! Oh. No! It oversteers! Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Wow! In she go! Wow! Almost! <laughs> Mate, it's quick, isn't it? Wow, that's night and day. Yeah. It's rapid. Yeah, mate, we're doing 130! Alright, go easy on these brake pedals. Oh, easy on the brakes, 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 brakes. Oh, right! It's rough, 
fit. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm running the brake. Oh. oh, Audi presents. Don't worry about that. Just send her in. Look at that. Look at that. That is so good. All the brakes, all the brakes on. Yeah, 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 yeah. In she goes. In she goes. Lovely, 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 lovely. Don't go near that curb. Oh, no, you near it. <laughs> oh, wait, is that? No, 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 mate, mate, that's, no, mate you, you're going in the gravel. Oh, it's controllable, right? I think the thing is, is that you have under, you have oversteer on demand. Really. Yeah. The balance is really safe. Yeah. But then, as soon as you want it to move, you get on the power, and it just neutralizes. So you, when you when you're at that point, you're back on the power. You get back on the power, and then you can just. Drive. And then it brings it back round. Yeah. I mean, it's it's impressed me to be honest. The the oh, I mean that is fairly neutral. It just drives from the rear. Yeah. Go on, in she goes. Oh, in she goes. We see if it's that again. No, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. No, let's not. Let's not oh, oh my God, it is. Whoa, that's the cross. Whoa, no. <laughs> it's just. It's only just flat. If you ever come to Silverstone, it is not flat. That was on the grass. Holy man. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, it just understeers. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we'll do one more. One more lap. Okay. One more lap. But just go. I wanna see I wanna see cops without the intrusion. So just flat. Just no, flat. no, no, not like completely flat out, but just at the point where, you know. It's on the limit. On the, yeah. Uh, hit those brakes, hit those brakes. No, 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 hit those brakes, hit those brakes. Oh! What? Mate, that's awesome! Mate, that's quick! That was no track limits as well, then. That is, I tell you what, it's. I'm, honestly, I'm blown away by it. Really? It's, it's nothing like any other, Audi that you think of, they're just terminal understeer everywhere, but this is yeah. not. This has got like everything, doesn't it? We should, should we maybe let the brakes cool down. I think it's alright. I think it, it feels fine. Oh, fine, fine. It's, it's actually really good. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I can't believe how fast it is in the straight line. Mate, in the straight line, it annihilates everything. Mate, that's quick. That's GT3 RS place. It's like it, it's as fast as GT4. You reckon GT4 yeah. speed, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh mate! Okay, yeah, that, 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 that'd be a lovely little, lovely little, lovely little send in the brain. No! Not the curb! I said do not touch the f***ing curbs! <laughs> <laughs> I was only a little nibble. The brakes are starting to just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to bet, bet. Yeah, well, we, we want to we keep it off piece, but really cool to actually see what this car does. I, I honestly, hand on heart, I did not expect it to be very good. But it's rapid in a straight line. It's, you know, it's had four, go on, race it. four or Can five. Can we get a full GT? Go on, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Go on. Can you keep up with him? Try and keep up with him, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Mate, if you get him, I'll give you a tenner. I'll give you a tenner, go on. Oh no! Is he flat though? No, it will, if we catch him through here. Oh, we've caught him, go on. There's a Ford GT. We caught him through the corners. <laughs> Come on. If you catch him on the brakes, I'll give you a tenner. Okay, here we go. Oh, you are going to. No! <laughs> no, you don't want to drive in the back I'm of him. <laughs> We're up as we're up as you know what in a RS3. <laughs> Mate, that's cool. It's brilliant. Wicked. Honestly, it's it's genuinely good. Yeah. I it, mean, I know there's a lot of screeching and all sorts, but the car's good. In terms of yeah, there there is a bit of screeching and stuff, but apart from that, it's. Mate, the way you were control, the way you controlled it as well, the yeah. way it's like. You got to think it's on a road tire as well, isn't it? So you put yeah. it on something like, you know, a Cup Two or something, you know, a bit more track focused. The balance is really lovely. 
Really? It's good. It's impressive. Well, that was insane. How cool is that to put this on the track? It was so good. And the way that handled was unbelievable. Obviously, Johnny is an amazing driver. But the way that handled, we were catching a Ford GT, everybody, in a new RS3. Just let that sink in. It's a 50 grand car, and we did the Ford GT onto the brakes. It's impressive. It is so cool. It's really lived up to my expectations. And the brakes are absolutely fine. Everything here. I mean, it smells a little bit, but, you know, we're fine. We could just literally bleed the pressures and go again. It's not the brakes aren't on fire. The brakes are sort of holding up. And we sort of really, really, really did push that fully to the limit. And everything, obviously, fans are getting a little bit mad. But apart from that, the brakes and everything, no smoking brakes. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. Oh my, what an awesome bit of kit this is. That was just insane. I'm lost for words. I'm completely lost for words. I knew this car was good, right? I knew it was good. But I think the way that was, was just insane. The way it handled, the way it turned in, the way it sort of just drifts, he's straight back on the power. And at the end, we would keep it on a Ford GT. Okay, yeah, he might not be a professional in the Ford GT, we don't really know, but it was more the fact of it could do that. It had potential, if you wanted to, to sort of have the most fun on a track and still keep up with these cars. This car was doing 148 at the end of the back straight, okay? A GT3 RS is doing 155. So we're just there talking just a minute ago outside going, the speed of it, is absurd. It's on another level to a Gold Fire. It's on another level to an RS6. It's on another level of everything in terms of in its price bracket. This car is obscene. And when they do come to a price around 50, like, you know, on the second hand market, it's going to be like, you could pick up an amazing track day car, a track focused car and everything else. It's just insane. But I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. It's been a great day. Make sure you check out Johnny uh, and also your chance to win that Mercedes E63S. I'll leave the link in the description and the pinned comment. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon.